I'm outside a Band D Millennium House room. I have the key, let's go and have a look inside. So as you can see, we have a wardrobe, a desk with some shelves, a bed and a notice board. And just next to the door, there is an ensuite. Your room is fitted with a large window. It has both a vent and a main opening. The vent is useful if you want a bit of air circulation without the window actually being open. To open the vent, simply grab it from above and pull it forwards. To open the main window, you need to grab both handles in unison, lift them up and then push the window away. So you may get a little hot and you may get a little cold, so you probably want to be able to adjust the temperature of your radiator. In here, there is simply a control next to the radiator. Turning it clockwise turns the radiator off, and turning it anti-clockwise turns the radiator on. The lights in your room are simply controlled by the switch next to the door. As well as the obvious storage in your room, such as the wardrobe, the drawers and the shelves, there are more places to put all your stuff, such as the space above the wardrobe, underneath the desk and even underneath the bed. The lights in your room's ensuite are controlled by a switch just outside the door. You will have a basin, a shower and a toilet. The toilet simply flushes by pushing the handle on the system. Your shower has two controls. The front control adjusts the temperature and the rear control adjusts the water pressure. If you wish to connect your computer to the internet whilst in your room, you will need to use an Ethernet cable, but these are provided. They simply connect between your computer and the socket on the wall. If you wish to power your devices, then there are 13 amp sockets provided. But if your device doesn't have a 13 amp plug, you will need to bring in an adapter. There are some devices you are not allowed in your room, and these are listed here. This is for safety considerations. Equally, there is a fire sensor in the roof that is there for your safety and you should not tamper or cover it at any point. Just be careful when you're spraying deodorant. If you hear the fire alarm going off, then you must evacuate your room immediately and report to your core perception. So your kitchen will look a bit like this. Every person will get two cupboards, an upper cupboard and a deeper lower cupboard. Your kitchen will come complete with a sink, an electric kettle, a toaster, an electric oven and hob, a microwave, some chairs and a table, as well as a fridge and a freezer. Your kitchen will get cleaned regularly, but you'll have to make sure you do your own washing up and keep it tidy. And remember, never leave your cooking unattended. When you leave your room to go out, remember to always turn your lights off, shut your doors and shut your windows. And we hope you enjoy your stay in university accommodation.